What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer made to deliver you our team builder for the first round of the playoffs here in the NPBA. We are getting a bit of a rematch here against Gabby and the Welsh Dredagons here in the first round of the playoffs. I'm really, really excited about that because last time I kind of went into the battle very casually because I, I knew all I needed to do was win. That was it. I didn't need to go for any specific differentials. I didn't need to, you know, strive for anything too crazy. I just needed to come out with a W. And that's what I did. But this time, I got something to prove. And I'm coming out, I'm coming for blood this time. So, this is going to be, I, I feel like this is going to be a much more competitive matchup than last time. I feel like I'm gonna definitely have to put in a lot of extra. I'm gonna put in a lot of extra work to make sure this matchup is more competitive, and that we can uh, essentially uh, beat her a lot more. I don't want to say brutally because that sounds terrible, but essentially that's what I'm getting at. I want to beat her more than we did last time. So. uh... Just a quick review of what her team is, even though we just saw it on week 9. You know, it's been a little while. A quick review. Uh, her team consists of Mecha Garchomp, Gengar, Breloom, Snorlax, Porygon 2, Jolteon, Blastoise, Miss Magius, Electivire, Huntail, Rapidash, and Hydreigon. So, again, still a very terrifying team, but a team nonetheless we can take care of and handle appropriately. So uh, looking at this, uh, looking at her team, uh, I see a four times weakness to ice, I see a four times weakness to fairy, and I see a four times weakness to flying. All things we could potentially take advantage of uh, with our squad, but spoilers, we're not taking advantage of all of those. But uh, we are taking advantage of one, and you'll you'll see that at some point. But uh, to start off the team builder. We are rocking our boy, the boy, Loxus, the Raikou, rocking that choice scarf. Now the cool thing about this is we have two mon we have three mons on our team that sit above base one ten, which is the fastest thing that she has on her team. The second fastest thing that she has on her team. So at that point, we can pretty much slap a scarf on and outspeed just about everything. Which is great. So we have just enough speed to outspeed uh Gengar. Uh, so that way we can, uh, with the Scarf, we will outspeed pretty much everything, barring a Scarf to Jolteon, if she decides to do that, which would be kind of interesting, but I personally don't see that happening. But, you know, you never know. Uh, we are running the Volt Absorb ability, even though it is technically unreleased, uh, due to the fact that we play through custom game, we have decided the allowance of uh, unreleased hidden abilities and, uh, you know, unreleased items etc like the gems and whatnot is available so we are definitely uh taking advantage of that here because the jolteon and the electivire can potentially volt switch spam on us normally uh if we were to bring a ground type uh so definitely uh having loxus able to sit there and swallow up a uh a volt switch or switch into a thunderbolt or something like that is absolutely fantastic and uh really really exciting uh we have the volt switch ourselves so that we can uh switch our way around the team uh, as long as we can take out the jolteon or electivire early on in the matchup we will be able to just freely click volt switch uh, on our team also we have to get rid of the garchomp but that's you know that's something else we can handle with other mons but uh Volt Switch will keep us keep our momentum going uh, against her team, uh, which is really really useful. Uh, we have the extra sensory, 
extrasensories there for that Gengar, for the Breloom, uh, for the... Uh, there's something else that I've had it before. Nope, it's just for those two. Uh, it could also get flinches for us on things, so it'd be kind of cool. Uh, so that's definitely an option to have. Uh, that move's going to do some good work against those mons that I mentioned. Okay, that does not really affect it at all. Okay, but we have the Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere is there for the Snorlax, Porygon 2, and the uh, Hydreigon. That's something to hit them with super effectively. Lastly, we are packing the Hidden Power Ground. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hidden Power Ground against a team with three, count them, three ground-type immunities? What are you thinking? Well, honestly, I'm thinking that Raikou likes to spam Volts, which is normally. Jolteons and Electivires like to switch into Volt Switches to either get that HP back or uh, cause a hard switch on a Scarfer or something like that. Or to get that speed boost from the motor drive. That's my thought process. So, I see a scenario where I have Raikou on the field, the potential to Volt Switch is there, she decides, ah, oh, yo, I got this, I got this Electivire, I got this Jolteon chilling here, that I can switch in to that incoming Volt Switch and uh, take it and uh, cause it to, you know, really mess his strategy up. Well, I don't like the sound of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click HP Ground. And even if she switches in the Mega Garchomp, it's it's still at least about 20% chip damage on that Mega Garchomp, and that's still chip damage at the end of the day. But with HP Ground, it's a guarantee to a KO on both Electivire and Jolteon. So we can then go ahead and uh, finish them off immediately. Uh, either pressure her to switch back out, or pressure her to uh, let let those things die, and that's really really good for us. So Raikou is definitely very very vital to this matchup. Uh, really really necessary for us to pull out the W. Uh, next up we have another Scarfer. We're running a dual Scarf offensive core with Raikou and now Aidzelf. Uh, tech support the Aidzelf is running a Scarf. Uh, we have one man hitting on the f special side, and we have this this boy hitting on the f physical side. We're running Choice Scarf, just enough speed to outspeed Gengar. We're running the Zen Headbutt to smack that Breloom, smack that Gengar real hard. We're running the Ice Punch to blow that Mega Garchomp off the planet. And then we're running the Knockoff for the simple purpose of getting rid of things like Gengar, Miss Magius, and just knocking some items all over the place. And we have the U-turn for momentum. We're starting to form a bit of a vault turn core here. A little bit of a, a nice offensive vault turn core that we can definitely take advantage of. Uh, the U-turn will do very big damage to the Hydreigon. Uh, so it's definitely something that's an option for us to have. So this thing's basically here to just hit things hard and uh, ten occasionally you turn out, and that's pretty much the whole goal for Azelf in this matchup. Uh, between Azelf and Loxus, we can pretty much tear through uh, uh, pretty much tear through a very large portion of Gabby's team. Uh, with these two, so they're very vital to our victory. Uh, so that's that's going to be awesome to have. Uh, this dual scarf core has a lot of potential to really, really do work against our team. So I'm really excited about that. Next up, we have Yokozuna, the Hariyam, pretty much running the exact same spread as the last time. Adamant Nature, 172 into Special Defense. 
and 84 into speed so that we can outspeed that uh, min speed Porygon 2, which is great. But this time we're not running the fake out. And my reasoning is the fake out didn't really provide us a lot of options, and it gave her the potential to uh, switch out and uh, dodge around it. And that wasn't really that great for us, and it caused Hariyama to be forced out a lot more than often. So I decided to swap Fake Out for Earthquake. Uh, Earthquake will allow us to hit the Jolteon and the Electivire really, really hard. And it will also hit the Rapidash, so that's something that uh, could come in handy, especially since the uh, we have the Thick Fat ability, so we can eat hits from the Rapidash. So if we can hit that thing with an Earthquake, that'd be great. We also have a knockoff for the Gengar and the Miss Magius. We pretty much wall those guys 100%. We have the Ice Punch. Ice Punch is for the Garchomp, so we can take that thing out without real issues. And then we have the Close Combat for Stab and the simple purpose of blowing uh, Porygon 2 and Snorlax off the planet. So that's the whole mindset behind uh, this spread, this set. Uh, we pretty much counter all of our normal types and can pretty much uh, one or two KO a good portion of our team with this set. So hopefully this works better than uh, the fake out set we had last time. I think it will, so, and I'm I'm really optimistic about uh, Yokozuna's chances to put in work in this matchup. Next up we have Pump King. The king of all ghosts coming in. It's been so long since we used Gorgai Super this season, so I wanted to make sure to get Gorgai Super into the playoffs at some point, and this is just the best time. We are going to run a max HP, max special defense, adamant Gorgais with 8 into attack. Uh, for no particular reason to 8 into attack, but this set allows us to essentially let me fix my headset here. Not comfortable on my head. This set pretty much allows us to beat 1v1 Gengar or Miss Magius. There's no way she would bring both because one's basically just discount Gengar, essentially. But, uh, Shadow Sneak 2 hit KOs both of them uh, with this setup 100% uh, of the time. So, uh,. Even if they decide to go for Shadow Ball on us, neither of them can Oko us because of the fact that we are rocking the Cassie Berry to weaken that Ghost type move. So basically, Pump King beats uh, my Ghost beats their Ghosts. So that's fantastic. Uh, which is really really good. Uh, we have the Seed Bomb as well. Uh, Seed Bomb is there for the Blastoise and the Huntail. A uh, Huntail uh, needs a Shell Smash to uh, even have a chance to kill us with Ice Beam. So we can definitely get a Seed Bomb off on it, uh, and then probably maybe even take it out with a Shadow Sneak afterwards. I have to, I'll have to look at the calc real quick. Hold on, let me let me look at the calc real quick. Let me look at the Z calc real quick. Go right, guys, super. We're going to go... Adamant, Huntail, Shadow, Sneak. Alright, so with this spread, with this spread, Seed Bomb does 74 to 86%, Shadow Sneak does 18 to 21. So you would have a chance, a chance to kill. And that's if they are Shell Smash White Herb and they get their defenses back. If they don't get their defenses back, well, then. That's, you know, that's neither here nor there. But uh, the shell Seed Bomb will also do decent damage to the Blastoise. Uh, not too much because Blastoise is very, very bulky. But. Uh, Blastoise still uh, will take super effective damage from it. And at the end of the day. Super effective damage is any damage. It does 38 to 45%. Uh, so that's really, really decent for us. Since we're specially defensive, we can take hits from him very nicely. Uh, we have the Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp is here just to 
toss around wildly and burn things. Uh, essentially, uh, we can pretty much at any time just click Will-O-Wisp. Uh, if the Rapidash is not around, we can literally just click, click Will-O-Wisp. If the Rapidash is around, we can click Leech Seed. It's a matter of, you know, will they switch? Will she switch in Breloom or Rapidash on us? Uh, uh, it, it could help us force some switches and screw some Mons over, which would be really, really nice for us. Uh, Pump King just has an interesting situation to be in this week, and I'm really excited that Pump King made it on the squad for this matchup. The next Mon on the party for this week is going to be Mystigan, our lovely Frogadier, holding the life orb with the Protean ability. Uh, we're running just enough speed to outspeed uh, Mega, Mega, or not, no, we're running just enough speed to outspeed uh, Electivire, uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I just want to run a quick calc real fast. Get that up there. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so the reason I wanted to outspeed Electivire is because if they want to try to switch in Electivire on us, oh, mistakes have been made because we do have Ice Beam. First of all, which will take out the Mega Garchomp and do big damage to anything else in his team that wants to try to stay in on it. We have the Hidden Power Ground. Hidden Power Ground is there for that Electivire. It does 74 to 88%. So if this thing has taken any form of damage beforehand, uh, HP Ground will blow it off the face of the Earth, which is great. We are actually running the Toxic Spikes. Now, the reason I'm running the Toxic Spikes is because technically she has no way of getting rid of them. She has no form of hazard removal, and the only poison type on her team has Levitate, so she wouldn't even touch them. So we're definitely going to... Uh, definitely going to set those up if we get the chance to. And then lastly, we have... Uh, oh, yeah, we have our speed EVs, obviously, but... Lastly, we have the U-Turn. U-Turn is there to complete our Vault Turn core. As a... Uh, between Frogadier, Tech Support, or between Missing and Tech Support and Loxus, we can pretty much just Volt Turn around her entire team and just chip it away at it and chip away at it until there's pretty much nothing left and it's going to be great for us. So Mystigan's going to put in some work this week. I'm glad we got a chance to bring Mystigan back on the squad because, you know, he's taken a, he's taken a bunch of weeks off. And, you know, I'm glad that Mystigan found his way back to us. Lastly, it wouldn't be a week in the MPBA if we didn't bring our resident king of the squad, Mega Agron. Gajajil is here, ladies and gentlemen, once again, rocking 240 HP so that we keep an odd number. We are running max attack with an adamant nature, and we're running 16 defense. Now, the reason I'm running 16 defense is my own personal selfish reason, in all honesty. I just wanted to say that I ran 500 defense on my Mega Agron at some point this season. That's all I wanted. That's literally all I wanted. The only reason behind it. There's no deeper meaning or anything behind any of it. It's literally just that. Just that. Just the fact that I wanted 500 defense on my on my Pokemon. That's it. It's really all it is. It's kind of sad, but regardless, it's kind of cool, though, to have 500 defense once. Probably be the only time I ever do that, but because I feel like I can, but yeah. Uh, we don't need any steel type stab. There's nothing on our team that really would benefit us to have it. So uh, we are running the earthquake for that Jolteon Electivire Rapidash situation uh, with the filter. You know we can eat a hit from Rapidash and hit it with an earthquake, and it'll do big, big damage thanks to our adamant nature. We have the ice punch for that uh, Mega Garchomp, another way of hitting the Breloom as well, uh, which is really, really nice. And then we also have the Thunder Punch for the Blastoise and the Huntail. And lastly, we are running Stealth Rocks on this thing. If we can set up Stealth Rocks with Gajil at any point in the matchup, that would be pretty much godlike. And I like the sound of it. Uh, so that's going to be our team for Gabby in the playoffs. Uh, I'm really, really excited uh, you know, to be in the playoffs. Uh, Gabby actually had to uh, go through a match with Jacob to earn the right to even face me, which is kind of cool because you know we did end up with that number one slot. 
So, you know, whoever won that matchup would take on me. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. But, uh, I, I, Gabby, you know, you, you got here. Yeah, you got you got through the, that matchup. Uh, granted, it was via forfeit, but I don't want to talk about that. You got through that matchup, but your playoffs end here, Gabby. I'm sorry to tell you. Your playoffs, your playoff hopes and dreams end right here. There's no way you're getting past me. I'm not allowing it. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to deal with it. And, uh, prepare to lose. I will not hold back this time. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this team builder, guys. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Poke Primer, signing off.